Hey fellow world wearers, it's Angry Turtle and today I will tell you everything you need to know about Gatling Gun. It's a full guide for this weapon. And let's start from first things first, where you can find it. Unfortunately, there is not too many places on the map where you can go and farm this gun. One of those places is Lucky Hole Mine, as there is one cultist inside that always carry a Gatling gun near to the altar. Fortunately, only one. Your other option is learning the plan and crafting those Gatling guns yourself. You will find plan in here, in Watoga at Super Duper Mart. That's exactly where I am now. And this vendor bot will sell it for you. Unfortunately, it's not cheap. You will find it under the name Gatling Gun and it will cost you around 3k caps. Depending on your charisma, it can go a little bit cheaper, but still it is expensive plan. Now about crafting cost and requirements, you will find it under category heavy guns and the name is short Gatling gun. It does require gunsmith rank 4 to craft and quite a lot of resources. The lowest possible level you can craft it at is 20. The highest level you can get it is level 50. And of course resources goes up as level goes up. Now about possible modifications. Choices for your receiver. You can go for prime receiver that offers the highest damage. You can go for a speedy receiver that offers lower damage but higher fire rate. And you can go for standard receiver that offers low fire rate and low damage. Therefore, those are your choices. I really like speedy receiver as it doesn't require any special ammo and DPS increase is actually slightly greater thanks to this fire rate than DPS from extra damage with prime receiver. Second option is the barrel and here you have short or long barrel where a long barrel gives you better range and there is no real downside of using it. After that there is grip, standard on comfort grip where comfort grip improves accuracy and there is no downside. Next, there is magazine and here there is a downside. You can go for accelerage that will give you more bullets, but unfortunately can obstruct the view a little bit, especially while aiming down the side in first person, can change the animation to be longer, makes gun heavier and it's really not required as this gun fires so slowly that regardless if you have 250 bullets at once or 500, it doesn't really make a difference, therefore I like to use the standard magazine. After that you have the front sight. You can have front sight ring or standard sight where the ring will improve the accuracy and change slightly the visual of the gun, therefore it's up to you if you want to use it. It's not a huge difference, it's really a small difference. And next you can use bayonet or no muzzle and here it's mainly visual and it's increasing the weight of the weapon. The bayonet makes sense if you want to use this gun during daily op when you need to finish enemies with melee attack as bayonet increase a little bit animation speed of the bashing animation therefore that makes sense. Otherwise of course no muzzle is better. If you don't want to kill anything by bashing no muzzle is better. And finally there are some skins for this gun, that's how it looks like without any skin. I really like this Appalachian Thunderpipe skin that was offered in the previous scoreboards. Sometimes it can come back to Atom Shop. We'll see if you'll be able to buy it. The other option that I do have is Black Knight Paint. That's basically changing the Gatling gun to darker shade and put this Black Knight on it. That's the difference. But of course, Appalachian Thunderpipe, amazing skin. Now, ammo and cost of ammo. Here situation is very interesting as it is using the same ammo as minigun. Therefore, it's 5mm ammo, what makes it incredibly cheap. 5mm ammo, 100 rounds, that's a default value you'll craft. It costs 15 lead, 30 steel. 8 gunpowder. 
therefore it is already really cheap, can be boosted with perks, but what's more important, you can just take this gun to daily ops and you will end up with way more ammo than you actually use. Therefore, for any practical purpose, ammo for Gatling gun is absolutely free, as you will never craft it if you use this gun in daily ops. Now, quickly about the stats on this gun, uh, I have here this legendary one, two-shot explosive Gatling gun, therefore, of course, damage and everything is boosted by those effects, but other stuff. Fire rate is relatively low, what should be expected as it is a crank-up gun. I, I'm really happy that Bethesda finally fixed it, and it states actual fire rate on the weapon card, if you didn't play this game before, for a very long time. The Gatling gun was showing fire rate like 10 times higher than actual fire rate on weapon card, even though the gun was always the same. It was working the same, but the weapon card was totally off in the past. The range is great on this gun, the accuracy is rather on the low side, and it is heavy weapon because it's a heavy gun, then weight is high as well. There is really not too much that you can say about this gun is very simple to use and quite quite effective taking into consideration how cheap it is to use now i will show you this gun in action and i will talk a little bit more about possible legendary effects and what are the best choices and for this showcase i will be using my high dps loadout on my main build here you can see all the perks and I'm using my two-shot explosive Gatling gun. And since the patch that fixed the explosions to apply on hit, it is actually a really decent option. You can see how it works in here. Unfortunately, two-shot without explosive bullets, without this explosive effect, is not a good option. You want it only if you have explosive rounds. And as you can see, it works great. It is really good. But that's not only option you have. Everything in prefix category like bloodied, aristocrats, junkies or even anti-armor will work really well for this gun. For the second star, of course, explosive, faster fire rate or damage while aiming will work really well. And damage while aiming, especially if you have this skin, is, it's less obstructive. Like, regular skin covers a little bit more of the screen, what makes aiming slightly harder, but it's like it's not like impossible, it's just slightly harder. Apart from that, for the third star, there's really nothing special you can have, as this is not a VATS gun. This is nothing like that. You will not benefit much from the reload speed, as I can show you. Reload speed is already fast, and you rarely do that. You will not benefit much from most of the third star effects. The one that can be a little bit helpful if you will get reduced weight. That can be a little bit helpful. If you will have something else that you found helpful, it's good. But I personally don't see a need to have any particular third star. Extra durability, if you are using explosive variant of this gun, can be handy but as well, not much of a benefit. Like the most important will be the prefix and the second star. Third star, it just added bonus. Therefore, if you can put your hand on good two star, you're brilliant. You don't actually need a three star. And this gun does the job as you can see in here. And that's two shot explosive variant, of course, with high damage build, bloodied build. Therefore, if you are playing full health build, you will probably use a little bit more ammo to kill. But you should be fine. Regardless what your build is, you should be fine. This gun performs. This gun really performs. And I'm happy with it. It's not as powerful DPS-wise as other heavy guns. But taking into consideration it basically shoots for free. It's a perfect gun. It's a really good gun. And that will be everything I have to share about this gun. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section. And now, as always, thank you all for watching, and see you all in the next one.